Thanks, Wellwick. Thanks for letting me know. Motherfucker. Just a couple days until communities around the Fern Gill Republic celebrate Spirit's Eve. One tradition you may not know of is a search for the Golden Pumpkin. Your town has a haunted maze, and you can be sure there's a golden pumpkin hidden somewhere. These things are valuable. Those things are valuable. Looking forward to Spirit's Eve, and looking forward to decorating myself. So... Now we get to listen to this music again. <laughs> the 27th... Uh, Taro Root will be done. But Spirit's Eve will make it so that... Well, I could do a, a dive in the Skull Caverns on that day. I would just have to be back home. Because I want to go to the Spirit's Eve Festival. I want to change my outfit. And I want to see the, the year two stuff in this playthrough. So... I either do the Skull Cavern dive on the 26th or the 28th. And I want Clint to handle geodes soon, then I either have to go to him on the 26th and basically use my key to the house to get in there super early before he goes to the community center or on the last day of the season. Of course, there's no pressure on me getting that done, so I can just wait until a more delicious time. Another flying insect in my room. How dare you? These troubling times. Have any plans for the day? Well... What? How the fuck did I pick that up from here? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I'm made of such magic. The reach. I got a bombs can't damage you? Hmm. I might do the dive even with uh, low bead luck today. You better fly away from me and across this damn room. <laughs> Proven track record of crashing. Been an hour getting out of my damn house. George sent me some stone, even though I didn't give him anything for his birthday. Thanks, George. Appreciate it. Fam. He's the type of person who to be like, I don't give a shit about birthdays. And you could trust him to mean that too. If that was a stance he actually had. We can keep these on the trees. There's no, like you could accumulate up to three of them. Got another mango tree. It's halfway grown. A second banana tree will come uh, to us for free uh, when I get the museum tent complete, which will happen sometime. He said, his mind not filled with doubt. He's not filled with doubt. Shut up. <laughs> Everything is fine. I'm not stressing. You're stressing. Go fuck yourself. Okay. I am definitely going back to the volcano. Going back to the island today, broadly. Yeah. Am I... Booksellers in town, I'm not interested in that. Maybe I go to... No, I would like to see if I could get a luckier day for my Skull Cavern dive. So I'll wait until tomorrow. Yeah, okay. That means I can take some stuff with me to the island today. Cool. And we will not be getting more honey over here. Alas, Babylon. Panning spot. I was like, what was that I heard? That wasn't a duck hopping into the water. Eight bone fragments. Okay. 
I don't dislike getting that. After what I spent on the, uh, the tubers. You little fuckers went far. You little fuckers, you went far. All right. Uh, there's my truffle oil done. Cool. More. I think I needed some of this for cooking something. All right. Bone fragment sold. Sold! The honey sold. I'm pretty sure you can't place bee houses in the greenhouse. I know, right? Chucky darn. We'll, we'll, we'll have to test to confirm that, though. Don't want to test it now? Sure. We cannot have an indoor apiary. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Your curve of thoughts. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thoughts, curve. No, I have no thoughts at this time. None whatsoever. No thoughts. No notes. You all will still yield one more batch of honey. Uh... Oh. Well? Fascinating. Glad I tested this. Glad I tested this. Cool. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. I am, I am pleased by this. Not that the honey is doing much for me. Nevertheless, I am pleased. Small victories. Small victories. Yeah, both uh, Krobus and Leo are gifted up, though. Krobus is maxed out. It's just Leo. Leo's the only one. Do I have a beach totem? Of course I do. Great. Take me to the beach. Bubbles. Another thousand G. Willie, I'm helping you pay your taxes. Never mind that the more money you get from me, the more taxes you might get charged. It's a vicious cycle the mayor has instituted. I've been mayor for 20 years! He's been a dick for every single one of those years. Professional opinion. There's the gym bird. Looking for coconuts hanging from these trees. I'm not spotting any. We'll give him a shake anyway to assert my dominance. Don't make me chop you fuckers down again. Ended up getting a coconut out of one after all. Not a golden coconut. It's important. Action. Well, I guess I'll come down here and shake these two. Who knows what could be hiding down there, or up there, that I'm not actually spotting. My vision is failing me. Snake vertebrae. Okay.
Shake them all. Shake, shake, shake. Damn. All right, check. It is just that. Have you found any golden coconuts in the islands? Remember that many interesting things can be found inside of them. As a matter of fact, I haven't found a single fucking golden coconut. Do you have any, by chance? I would like to know more. <laughs> First time in my fucking life that man has heard my request and responded positively. I did not recall those, uh... Oh. I did not recall those coming out of uh, artifact spots. It, it makes sense. It, that's probably how I've found others in the past. All right! Oh boy. This is this is an exciting time. Now I want to check whether this is immediately adjusted. No. Okay, maybe tomorrow in game. 5 dragon teeth for banana silly. Special trade on last day's season just for you be bring glowing green bars. So, uh, radioactive bars, I think it's 10 of them, get you a galaxy soul. Of course, you may find them very rarely, as I did for two of them, or you can purchase them. For 40 special sweet gems. So, we'll have to see what these yield uh, when I do arrange a visit with Clint, and now I'm pretty interested in visiting Clint. Super early tomorrow in game. Luck. Pending. I can't do it on Spirit's Eve, because a uh, town is going to be uh, closed off to me. for the festival. I'm immune to bombs today, and I did choose that perk instead of geodes as a potential incentive for me going to the place, the Skull Cavern. You know, the place, the people, the things. You got golden coconuts, huzzah. They will... These two golden coconuts, though, I'm counting on them for a lot. <laughs> Truly, I am. But I, uh... I am thinking that uh, after today, in-game, future days are going to allow me to trade in coconuts in exchange for golden coconuts since I found some. Unless I do actually have to pull them from a tree. Hope you brought your uh, watering can. Get back here. I wish to tear the bones from your bones. Thought those are about to fall into the water. I was like, why are they not going into my the water? Yes, the water. Why <laughs> are those not going in my inventory? It turns out my inventory is full. Ah! You know, something that would be a neat feature would be to like lock certain items from ever getting hoovered up into your inventory. Like, no, I don't ever want to pick up more slime. I don't want to pick up more sap. Like, if you could have like a like, if you were playing, like, an action-adventure role-playing game, you know, set, like, locks on, like, the stuff that will appear for you. Or in this particular case, that will auto-get dragged into your inventory. I 
That way I don't have to keep screaming at the heavens. Or something I don't want appears in there. You can make that adjustment on the fly, like say with like a thing over here on one of these sides or another. Like, what would you want to be put in your inventory automatically? Like, like I, I do not need sap again. Unless I really go out of my fucking way to spend the sap I have accumulated. <laughs> really go out of my way. It's not impossible, but that is, that is asking a lot. I'm gonna eat you. Don't you, don't you wait away from me. Give me your teeth! Alright. Another five teeth. You get, you get a lot done with all these extra teeth. Hell yeah. Show me your teeth. I go saw that stone. It's whatever. Hello. We do have the Cinder Cloud shoes in stock again today. So it goes. I'm, uh... It reminds me that I'm also looking for Dwarf Gadget. Yes, Dwarf Gadget. Dwarf Gadget. Well... We'll see about that. Take the shortcut. Take me to the farm. sure I'm stocking my seeds here. There's stuff I want to talk about. Yeah, I have two soul sapper rings here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right here. I think I was fine junking another one of those earlier. Yeah. It's all good. Take this stuff back with me, I suppose. Okay. Actually make use of that. How about that? Nine, 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 nine. Understood. Two golden coconuts, one tough nut to crack, but a professional might be able to make break it open. Need fucking Clint for everything, man. Wild. I got gobies in here? I do not. They live in here now. And there is an argument to be made for waiting until Sunday for the Skull Cavern. Because that is, uh, turn Jade into Staircases Day. I don't have any Mega Bombs on hand. I could make some with, uh, Solar Essence, Void Essence. I got loads of Void Essence. And Gold Ore. <laughs> All right. I can just harvest those tomorrow. Something I want to do here is I hear a panning spot open up to me. Just put that there. Mm-hmm. Bobo, I need a gift for the missus. Three ghost fish and a rusty spoon. What the fuck? Here's my gift request. Three ghost fish, rusty spoon. Well, geode crushing day may yield that rusty spoon. to tell anyone, but I have reason to believe that one of the locals is actually my daughter. I could be mistaken, 
It's rare, but it does happen. You know, these arcane ejaculations into the stratosphere. As one does. Just wanted to check to confirm. Yeah. The Iridium Bars, the Dragon Teeth, and the Bananas. Cool. And I, like, I'm less interested in these other obelisks. They exist, though. The desert one is pretty nifty. I will say. It also costs a million with 20 iridium bars, 10 coconuts, and 10 cactus fruits. These two, I've I've made regular use out of over the course of my play. These two, I end up, like, burying next to silos. <laughs> I'm like, oh, here we go. They're here. Great. I'm not in any rush to get back to the farm. I think I have two ghost fish. The rusty spoon is definitely not something I have on hand. I have four ghost fish. They're real high quality. I could spare them. It's the sort of thing that's like, this is why I keep this shit for. Definitely didn't wasn't keeping a rusty spoon on hand though. <laughs> All right. Well, today was a very very successful day. For yields. Got no complaints about this day. A strong day. A mighty day. Okay. Here's the part where I sift through everything again, like uh -huh, uh -huh, things I've crafted. Dot com. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Just eyeball and stuff. Potential decoration opportunities. The wild seeds of summer. I have 11 dragon teeth. That's good. It means I have a spare dragon tooth. I could make a uh, warp totem to the island. That would be fine. Just fine. All right, future Grimoth. Marble. Dwarf gadget. Rusty spoon. <laughs> we haven't needed the magic bait. We won't ever need the magic bait this run. Just with how I've played. It's been pretty nice. You know what, well, uh... I will rarely... Do something I rarely do. Process animal products. Yeah, you got one here. Cool. Might as well take these with me to sell. So many gift duck feathers and rabbit's feet. Like, why? Why would I need to sell them? Some people, uh, they grow, they grow, uh, fruit. There's, like, gifts people like me. I'm like, eh, just, I got, you know, some duck and rabbit action. They love me. They really, truly love me. So many triple shot espressos. Good times. All right. I think I'm hitting the hay early. I think I'm done with this couch. Brown armchair, excuse me. We can have this be like the sit in front of the fire. Place. Place being used there. Different context. At least more room for this over here. It's cool. I want to leave some space to make sure that navigation is uh, comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
There we go. I like the look of that. Might replace this with some uh, wall light fixtures. Get some of these damn lamps out of here. Uh, naturally, I want to change the wall over here. Tem we can temporarily have this be the same wall. Yeah. This, I'm going to take and put up with my fishy stuff. Uh... <laughs> that looks amusing, peeking out of there like that. Oh, I actually think that looks more disturbing. Just do like that. Uh, you know, I don't know. Perpetually playing hide-and-go-seek with you. Uh, pitchfork it probably gets removed. Forget whether the normal catalog, and I see the time as like a pitchfork option. I don't look like it, or if it does, I scroll past it, so we'll just chuck it on his chest where we're keeping other things. As one does. Brick fireplace, double bed, decorative shit. Mounted trout, I guess I could put that up there too. Model ship. Alright. Betty buy time. A little bit sold. A little bit sold. So many dinosaur eggs. Dino DNA! Now everyone can breed fucking dinosaurs. Great. Welcome. To Pepper Rex Park. Uh, no, doesn't have the same ring to it. 